Hey everyone, in this video I thought I'll give you an update on a couple of things that I've been up to, mainly the moped, and I'll show you this new lamp that I've bought. Now, anyone that's followed my channel for a while will know that I like various different lights, fluorescent lights, LED lights, barricade lamps, you know, you name a light I'll probably buy it if I could. <laughs> um, anyway, ever since I was a child, you know, we always, from the time, you know, when I had a set bedtime, which was about seven, eight o'clock, I used to um, sit up the bedroom window, especially in a summer evening, and um, watch these street lights come on. Because they come on, when they first come on, they're red, they glow red until they heat up and uh, they become the nice bright orange um, which I will demonstrate on this in a little bit but before that I just want to show you the gubbins inside and whatnot but uh, yeah anyway so I've ha always had a fascination with this specific sort of light I know they call them a SOX well this one's a SOX dash E I don't know what it stands for I'm not that knowledgeable on these lamps um, but I plan to be I'm on a Facebook group called UK street lighting enthusiasts I joined that about a year ago and I just bit the bullet basically and bought one because you can get these on eBay um, if you're lucky enough to find some engineers that are, you know upgrading from these to LED which I personally friggin hate I love LED lights elsewhere, you know, for decorative lights and for the, in the home, but at least the ones on my road outside here, they just they just don't seem to work very well. Anyway, um, engineers might let you have one, you know, if you throw them a little bit of cash, you know, enough for a pint, as they say. They might uh, let you have a couple. They might even let you have a couple for free. I don't know. I've never asked. But that's how people have managed to get hold of these, and they, that's how they put them up on eBay and whatnot. Apparently there is some yards where these go as well. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, I just bit the bullet and bought one. So this cost me £20 on eBay, which, for what it is, it's not bad. There's a lot more lamps like this with the bulb and the photo cell that costs like twice as much if not three times as much in some cases depending on the age make model and whatnot this one's a Philips I think it's an MI35 if my memory serves correct I did learn that one from the group it's not an MI26 because that's a bit stubbier than this one I'm going to take the canopy off it is hinged but it gets in the way so I'll pop the hinges off as well so we have the SOX E lamp, which you will get to see in operation in a little while. So it is just an ordinary bayonet fitting there, bayonet cap. So you literally just push it in, give it a twist, and we'll slide it that way. And gently slide that out because I don't want it to break. Because bulbs like that are getting hard to come by, especially as you know everywhere is upgrading to LED. I've actually noticed I can move this clamp down if I wanted to. I could uh, I'll get that bloody one off. I can put it in this one as well. It's got a, an adjustment on it. I don't know the purpose of that. Maybe it's in case um, for different lengths of lamp. I've got a feeling that's what it is because this is a 35 or 50 watt lamp 50 watt max um, 240 volt 50 hertz one times socks 36 watt oh it is a 36 watt yeah well, I wonder why I don't know what that's wrong. I'm gonna put it back where it was though I'm sure the advert said 55 watt as well oh well doesn't matter got this on eBay by the way you can find them 
quite often on eBay. I'm still watching a few because I wouldn't mind a couple more various ones in my collection. Because uh, I'm going to get the brackets, you can get wall brackets for these, and I'm going to put one up on the wall in here. So, I'm going to get this off. I don't want to lose those washers, that's what I'm trying not to lose. So, this panel just lifts up and lifts out of there. I'll slide that across. So, there's the innards of what came out of the way. I'm trying not to not twat here, just hit the wrong button and stop the video. Burr. That's what I wanted to do. Just zoom in so you can see. So what we've got in here, this is plastic by the way. And uh, I will give this a good old clean up. We'll give this plastic case a clean up. And the uh, big lens, wherever I stood that, was on the floor. The, um, the bowl as they call it. So we have the photo cell socket over here. We've got the ballast, the igniter. And a big ass capacitor there. Now the circuit is, we've got mains coming in, live in the middle for some reason, neutral and earth. On a lot of fittings I've had, earth always goes in the middle. They've done it differently on this one, so I suppose it doesn't matter, you could turn the wires around if you really wanted to. Um, anyway, your live comes in, brand one here, and uh, I got a lamp or something I can just use for an extra bit of light. I keep shadowing the um, light. Here we go. That's what that'll do. <laughs> so, yeah, live comes in, and then that goes through to the photo cell, which has got a neutral as well. It comes around to the blue wire, the neutral, and then there's a white wire down here, which is your live out from the photo cell. That goes round and into the ballast. And uh, there's two wires on the ballast. One is going to the igniter, straight to the igniter. The brown wire is going over to the capacitor. And then there's a white wire as well as a blue wire. The blue wire comes round to the igniter. And then another blue wire comes off of that to the neutral. And then you've got the brown wire, which I've already mentioned. There's a white wire that goes around to the lamp holder. From the lamp holder, another white wire that goes all the way around to the igniter. And that is your circuit, basically. It's that simple. Um, some models of lamp don't have the, um, the running gear, as they call it, in here. They have it in the lamp post itself. Anyway, if I want to demonstrate it, I've got to put it back together. So that goes on there. I'll just push that on there too far. There we go. I'm only going to do these two nuts finger tight. I will put the canopy on. And while it heats up, I will uh, just update you on the progress of my moped. And couple of other things because it's going to take a few minutes to heat up anyway. Don't you start Mr. Bolt, I see you get on there. Bloody nut didn't want to screw on. This panel is earthed by the way. It wouldn't take a lot to convert this just to use an ordinary light bulb. I mean you can use the photo cell where it is and just basically take out the um, igniter s stuff. You know, the igniter, the ballast, and the capacitor just basically bypass it. If you so wished. So we put in our bulb. Right, now, that slopes downwards, so ideally, it might make life easier to get the canopy on if I do that. Otherwise, these bloody hinges keep falling off. <laughs> I just... I don't think the My Hermes Courier was um, too impressed as he had to <laughs> as he had to drag this up two flights of stairs because um, it was well packed, very well packed. And this particular eBay seller does have some more of these, so 
I'm hoping at some point I can get another one. Right, there we go. That's all back together. So I'm going to put the photo cell in. I may have to turn the light off. I do apologise, I forgot to zoom out. There we go. You can't even go wrong with these, they will only plug in one way. There's like two small contacts and the neutral is the largest one, so you just line up your largest contact on your first cell. You says, push it in firmly and just give it a twist till it locks. Just like that. Uh, I don't really want to turn the well, the hallway light is on anyway, so I apologise, but it's going to go a bit dark for the moment. But, uh, yeah, we can still see. It's not going to work unless I darken the room. It's not going to work if I tie the cable in and not either. I don't know why, but they always make that buzzy noise when they turn on as well. If you go outside and you listen to one outside, it does the same thing. Right, uh, there we go. You can see it's already glowing orange at this end. I will warn you though, it does get rather bright. It's gl glowing relatively bright just for being red. Anyway, moped progress. It starts. I um, ordered the part when I bought this last week. The part arrived last Saturday and uh, the part I needed was a vacuum valve and I fitted that to the bottom of the fuel tank where it's meant to go. Connected up the two pipes, one's a fuel line, one's a vacuum line and uh, hooked up the battery charger, hit the start button and literally about five seconds after, I, after holding that start button down she fired straight up. So I've... Uh, put most of the plastics back on after repairing them. It's taken me about a week to do because I had to repair the plastics. And that's only because I had to wait for the glue to dry. The um, glue I've been using is a very strong one for hard plastics um, and takes 12 hours to properly set. So, And of course I did all the plastics on the Saturday thinking I'd done the ball and when I went to put them on I was you know I found parts on the other plastics that had also broken and needed gluing on so it took a bit of time but I was glowing really orange up this end now look at that don't know how well it's showing up on camera though yeah so I'm happy with that there's well, actually, three panels I haven't got on at the minute. I haven't got the headlamp panel on because I want to put another bulb in it. It's only got the one. I don't know why. It's got sockets for two headlamp bulbs, but I've only got the one in. But I'm going to put another one in just because I can. Um, so I haven't got the battery cover on either. And there's one that goes underneath where you put your feet. Um, which covers up the horn and some electrics under there. I haven't put that one on because I need a horn. My horn doesn't work. Um, just to rule out the horn, I actually got under there and took it off and uh, connected it up to the same battery charger I used to start it and to check some 12 volt bulbs and things and uh, it's dead as a doornail. Not even a 12 volt battery will make it go beep so I've got to get another horn. Which, thankfully, Cat's Custom Tropes has one. Oh, it's really starting to glow orange up this end now. Then all of a sudden the whole thing will glow orange. Anyway, yeah. Um, for its MOT, from what I can see um, so far, unless there's something I missed or don't know about, it needs two tyres. At first I thought it was one, but my brother noticed that the M front tyre has cracking on the sidewalls as well. So, two tyres, number plate, because the corner of that is cracked, so now it's got uh, jagged edges, which is no OT failure. Uh, but there's not a lot to replace that. Mirrors, 
I can get away with one on the right hand side but I don't know that just looks odd to me I'd rather have two so I'll get a pair of those um, I don't think the battery comes into an MOT because from what I can tell it's only there to run the electric start so Ooh, that's getting a bit bright now isn't it I think that's actually um, pretty much up to temperature now I'm sure I'm forgetting something that it needs all the lights work I've checked those the indicators and what not it starts from the kick start as well as the electric start Exhaust is fine, there's no exhaust leak, wheel bearings are fine. I think that is it. Oh hell, it's getting really bright in here now. <laughs> I have an orange bedroom. That's bright. That's a bright booger. Oh yeah. Couldn't remember why I was going over to the door. That's why I was going over to the door. Yeah. Don't think I'll turn this on on a regular basis just because of how awkward it is to get those bulbs. And if you can find them, they ain't cheap. Actually, I've just realised because I've got the bedroom light on, that should, in theory, turn off eventually. There we go. <laughs> I guess it takes a while because the light dependent resistor, which is basically what a photo cell is, is just a resistor that changes resistance with um, light. Probably takes time for that to change, so that's probably why there's a delay. But uh, I'm going to it. Like I said, that will go on the wall. Um, other than the moped, there's not really a lot else to uh, update you on. Uh, we've started to dig the pond. We've had a few days break because the rain turned up. Rain's not a bad thing. We could really, we really needed the rain. Um, it just means you can't do a lot of work outside. Uh, we've been doing a bit more work on the model railway room. My shed is pretty much complete. We've fixed the leaky roof. And I've got all my tools and everything down there. 99% of the bike parts are there now. I've got a few bits and bobs around here to take down. So, uh, yeah, everything's good. Anyway, hope you like this video. Um, like I said, I want to get hold of some more. There's some signs, illuminated signs that I want to get hold of as well at some point. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys. I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye-bye. <clears throat> I'll try that again. Bye-bye.